Hey guys, Jengar here. Welcome to today's realistic review in which we are taking a look at the MB162 sitting at 4.0 battle rating in realistic battle. A French four engined bomber and it looks pretty nice as well I have to say. This was my first match in the thing and I was immediately impressed after this match and you'll see why. <laughs> It was Norway and we had the, um, well, the regular start on the right base. Went all right, I was going for the four times 500 kilo load. So um, we peeled off here and tried to escape unharmed from the AA fire. Now the plane, let's go into the plane a little bit. As we see explosions, 10 targets this time. Maximum speed in the plane sits at 419 kilometers an hour on sea level, 400 kilometers an hour on 4500 meters and 370 kilometers an hour on 6500 meters. It can actually go there, the climb rate is good enough. Top speed in a dive lies at 533 kilometers an hour with a rip speed at 595 kilometers an hour. Control stiffening, of course, there, this is a four engine bomber. You already have control stiffening to start off with. <laughs> More or less, basically, yeah. So it starts pretty quickly in a dive. The stall speed in this plane is pretty remarkable with 145 kilometers an hour. Now, as we look around, as we're coming from this uh, dive here, you see that my team is eerily decimated. And that's going to continue until we are the last guy left. Now, firepower of this plane, no forward facing guns, of course, but you already see them. There is two 20mm cannons on this, um, on this plane. It has a dorsal turret and a ventral turret. We both have 20mm 404 Hispano cannons with 240 rounds for each gun. You also have on the sides 7.5mm machine guns with 1000 rounds per gun. Now this plane actually has some okay uh, maneuverability for a bomber, for a bomber. <laughs> it is not good in any sense of the word when you compare it to attackers or fighters. But for a bomber it's pretty nice. The acceleration is good, the energy retention is good in the horizontal and decent in the vertical. It's surprisingly decent in the vertical, I was surprised by that. Climb rate is average, it's not bad for a bomber. Well, the turn time, I just talked about it. It's not good, but for a bomber, it's, it's okay. The flaps are pretty decent. They help a little bit in the turn as well, but uh, they do rip at 430 kilometers an hour, which is not a bad rip speed, especially when you consider the top of the max speed in this plane. Now roll rate of course is bomber like, it's not very good, overall maneuverability is bad and the overheating in this plane is not terrible. It is easily manageable, it cools off very easily. Now there is not many bomb loads on this plane, there's only two options. You have one option for uh, 6x100 plus 6x200 and uh, that's 12 bombs. Maybe if you want to go for columns and stuff like that or individual ground targets, that's the option you want to go for. The other option is 4 times 500 kilogram bombs. I went for that option in this match and uh, yeah, killed the base and then uh, AA targets with that. So that was a nice start to the match. We are now the only plane left against three enemy fighters and that's going to be a problem. Well, actually two enemy fighters and one attacker. But we're alone and I didn't know the last, uh, the, one of the last guys was an attacker at this time. We do crit the P-47 here, German P-47. As he's coming up, we're using our ventral 20mm turret and we're having some good effect on him. We started early and uh, yeah, they, they shoot pretty nicely, these 20s. It's the same one as on the Leo that we reviewed not too long ago. They have the same kind of placement. They also have the same kind of limitations. Now, as we went up, the uh, infiltrator in his 109 came towards us. An angry unicorn there in his P-47 was going back to the airfield, tried to land. 
He crashed due to our damage and because we got a crit, we got the kill this time. Yeah, that's good. Now, Infiltrator took a long time to uh, climb up there, but now he's here. And uh, we're gonna go into confrontation with him as he's coming close to the kilometer. I'm doing some practice uh, here on the longer range to see if I can already get some hits in. I do get a hit in, whether that was from one of the 7.5 machine guns. Or the 20, I don't know. He is still flying normally. He's he was trying to get ahead of me. I don't know if you saw that. He was trying to maneuver himself, position himself in such a way that he could attack me without getting into contact with the 20 millimeters. Very smart of him. But I readjust my position because I don't want him in that position. I want him to be in the range of my 20s. He is not going to go hang uh, easily behind me, he's going to come for a belly attack. And I'm out of range already here, so he's coming up and I can't shoot at him right now. So this guy knows about this plane and he also knows about the dangers of this plane. He is coming into range here though, and we got a good hit in on him. Unfortunately not a crit yet, or something more lethal. But he's out of our range again. As he comes up, he's gonna get some shots again. Come on! Second chance, too low, too low. He's, he's, he's staying behind me now. That's not smart. <laughs> and we punish him for that decision. That was not very smart on his part. He should not have kept hanging there. He should have gone down again very quickly. And moved for another attack. But maybe he was damaged and he thought, fuck it, I'm gonna do that. We got two air kills now though. And we found a last target. We saw him as a dot on our landing craft and I think I, uh, as we came down he was just flying in a straight line as he was going back the airfield of the Germans is on the right side from us here and I think he was AFK here because he was not doing anything at the moment and uh, I decided to go attack and I'm in a bummer and I'm going for the attack <laughs> it's always very difficult you know when you're in a bummer to go on the attack I have to get this guy into range of my gunners to be able to shoot at him. Which I'm trying to do here. Of course we don't have a forward facing turret that would have made it a lot easier. I would probably already have the guy. But uh, no, I have to shoot him with my backward facing guns. Here we are using the sideward facing 7.7s. And he finally wakes up and he starts to move. And he's coming for me so that means he's also coming in range of my 20. Come on, hits, hits and more hits, we already have a few hits there. And we're out of ammo, the, the gunner is reloading, so shit. <laughs> we're gonna put the plane in the dive and we're going to try to get out of there. We couldn't, he feared off again, maybe he's out of ammo, he was attacking the landing craft, he could be out of ammo. As he's trying to make his way back to base. We are flying um, along the water of one of the fjords that's leading towards the German base. And I got ahead of him again. The, the base is over the next two, three hills. And I'm trying to stay ahead of him and within range of my uh, 20. He's uh, a kilometer away from me as he's coming in again. Now I'm wasting too much ammo here on the long ranges, I should have waited here. I, I get a better opportunity as he's getting closer, but uh, I should have saved more ammo there. As we're getting more and more hits in. I think that was our fifth or sixth hit. And we should have only started firing here. He is definitely without ammo I think. As he's not firing at me at all. This, is, this would have been ideal to start shooting at him here. Just a little bit too low, we get another hit in with the 20. Very close shots there. But no cigar so far, we are getting close to the base. I don't want to be peppered by the AA guns, they will surely kill me as I'm already heavily damaged. As I turn to the right I wanted, I got a last shot on him but I could not get them well on target. So yeah I thought I failed, I thought he would be able to repair and I had to go slowly, he would probably catch up to me before I would go to the base as we are flying on three engines and the, the, the second engine on the right is also very damaged and red right now so that would probably die as well. But he crashes on return to the runway. 
we can consider that our third air kill although war thunder doesn't count it but uh, my five or six hits and the peppering i gave him was enough to shoot him down we get a base 10 ground targets and two air targets in my first match in this thing and a first place in the team very nice let's see what kind of rewards we got for that performance final blow last man standing anti mech 75,000 silver lions and 6700 research points i'll see you in the conclusion hey guys so here we are after the match now this plane was enjoyable to fly out it was a fantastic match with uh, a nice ending sometimes you can go on the attack in a in a bomber although of course i mean these turrets are quite limiting in their positioning you have a little bit on the side from the two 7.5s and the 20 millimeter guns are really pointing backwards you have no protection from the front or from uh, directly coming from underneath or from above so this plane in, gen in a general sense is vulnerable but if you are patient in flying it and you can adjust you can you know as you saw in this match you can do some damage with these uh, 20 millimeter turrets but um, it does take some work and uh, it won't always work especially with pilots who have seen this plane already and who are familiar with the placement of its turrets they will make sure that they position themselves in a way so that you can't hit them and they can easily destroy you but still i had fun in it and i can definitely recommend you to try to have a match like that well guys i hope you enjoyed the video i want to thank you all for watching and i'll see you guys next time bye bye if you're new here make sure to hit the subscribe button become part of this community if you are already a subscriber don't forget to like the video, do leave me a comment and if you really feel like helping out today make sure to share the video with your friends and let them know about the channel.